You're watching Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artists. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Today we have Ace Fraley of Kiss talking about the early days of New York with Kiss. I walk into a Kiss rehearsal and I had just bought a pair of fucking jeans and they were too long. So I rolled them up. You know the way you roll up jeans like cowboys used to do it? Right? Yeah, yeah. And Paul started making fun of me. I, I, I couldn't give a f I go, let's rehearse. The next day, he walked in with jeans rolled up. I, I, I just, I looked at Peter and I go, what the f is his problem? First, he chastises me and then he, f you know, everybody in my whole life has copied me. You know, from the time I grew up in the Bronx, I was the first kid to get bell bottoms. Mm -hmm. I was, I used to shop in the village and get clothes. I, I was, I used to have a Captain America shirt. I had a Superman shirt. But nobody had it, you know, because I knew the cool places to shop. You know, I knew where to get the cool platforms. I knew I wore clogs for a while because, you know, Alvin Lee from 10 years after yeah. that. Yeah. The same dogs. And if you notice, if you notice in Dress to Kill, yeah. Gene is wearing my clogs. I was going to ask you, because that... Those are my clogs. Those are your clogs on Dress to Kill. Yeah. And, you know, that skull shirt he wears? The yes. In the early pictures of Kiss, black t-shirt with skull and crossbones. I designed yes. that, and my mother sewed it on the black T-shirt. And I brought it down, and we were getting dressed, and uh, I had something else. I, I had a black shirt with lightning bolts or something on it. And I said, hey, Gene wasn't sure what the fuck it was. I said, hey, Gene, where, where the skull and crossbones? It's you. Actually, it was I, I remember the pictures. Killer looking, look killer. So your mom did the stitch on that. Mom sewed the crossbones and skull on that part. Very cool. I mean, God, the concept, the concept that you guys came up with is because at that time you had the New York Dolls doing it, but they didn't have the songs. They, you know, the Max's Kansas City thing ever, you know. But um, we were intimidated by the Dolls. Were this, you really? Because they were the shit, and then you know. Once we our album came out and we started playing, we had a lot of we had a big machine behind us, you know Neil Bogart, Bill O'Coin, a lot of connections, uh, you know. Finally, we became more popular than the New York Dolls, and then the New York Dolls kind of fizzled out. You know, they were all doing heroin and getting. Yeah. I was really, really good friends with Arthur Kane. I love Arthur. I'm demoted from rock star to slip on the bus. I tell you, Arthur nothing. Kane would walk into my fucking room with two cases of 16 ounce Colt 45s. That Crazy wife he had. She cut off his fucking thumb or something. Oh, back in the early days. Yeah. I yeah. remember all that shit. I went to see him in the hospital when his liver was bothering him. We were very close. Uh, he, he was a cool bass player too, Arthur. You know, yeah. he was cool. He wasn't a great bass player, but he held his own. He was simple. He held his own. No, he was pretty cool. Yeah. But what? what My is simplicity he... is is you know better than you know complicated shit. You know, Johnny Thunders. You know, I had met him multiple times with friends of mine. Yeah, and uh, I said, "Who's the guy?" <laughs> And then, you know, they started the Dolls. Peter was actually very good friends with the drummer. They grew up together. With Jerry Nolan. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I knew Jerry. And uh, But somehow, you know, we actually went on tour together and did some shows. And uh, immediately, me and Arthur just clicked. And I loved to drink beer. And he loved his beer. So, you know, we we both down a couple of six packs of cold 45. We sniff glue together. 
Yeah. What is? Wait, hold on. What is sniffing? I always hear about Thank sniffing you. glue. What is sniffing glue? What is like the the One model? Of the best guys in the world. It's the model airplane glue. Is that what you're talking about? Right? Is that what it is? Yeah. The... I tell you, man. You can. You, you think you've taken acid or or gone this? You sniff glue. You go into another dimension. Where does it take you? Where's it, how long does it last? Yeah, I can't even verbalize it. It takes you to this place. Yeah. And you go, okay, I'm here now. And it lasts 10 or 15 minutes. And then it wears off. And then you're back. It's almost like you go to an alternate universe. I That's swear. crazy. That's crazy. It only lasted 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> and I also used to sniff Carbona. Cleaning. Oh, really? Oh, oh, God. <laughs> we used to put it on our collars and walk around and just sniff it while we walked. <laughs> Bounced it off walls and shit. You know, I hung out with crazy people. <laughs> Make sure to check out Ace's latest record, 10,000 Volts. Links are in our description down below. And if you want to see this episode unedited, the stuff that we can't release on YouTube, become a member right now in our YouTube members only club. In the meantime, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Click on the box you see right here on your screen for a next episode. And do me a favor, leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Who loves you, baby? We do. <laughs>